We're at five people living in a home on Detroit's west side left with nothing after masked men storm in and attack the place. Police say those men robbed them at gunpoint, even pistol whipped one victim and then torched the home on 30th Street. Let's get to Sean Lay. He's live at Henry Ford Hospital where one of the victims is recovering there. Uh, Sean, do we know how they're doing? Yeah, we do tonight. We're talking to her housemates here saying she's recovering here at Henry Ford Hospital, not only after being pistol whipped, but being knocked cold. These guys rushing in and then torching the house. Everything we own is gone. There's nothing in that house. A devastating attack on five adults and one teen at this home on 30th Street west of Grand River yesterday afternoon. Broad daylight. Broad daylight, what, two o'clock in the afternoon. This victim tells us three men wearing masks rushed in, holding a gun to the head of a woman in her 60s, telling her that she had just seconds to get out. No, she begged for her cats. She said, can I get my cats? Because they're so important to her. And they said, you can have two minutes to get your cats out. And she couldn't Perfect. get them off. The men then ran upstairs, unleashing a brutal attack on a woman by pistol whipping her. When they hit her, she fell out. You know what I'm saying? When they hit her with the gun. It knocked her out. It, it, right. She was like unconscious. And so, so she could have burned up there. She could have burned and died, absolutely. And the fire department literally removed her by hand. They had to because she was not coherent. What happened next could have killed everyone inside. They, they cocktailed it. You don't know what they that means. Of, they have bottles. They put yeah. gasoline in them. They put pieces of paper in them and they light them and then throw the bottle and it <laughs> up a room. And they did it in every bedroom. The home was torched. Everyone got out. Everything inside is gone. It's the worst devastating thing I've ever happened. And the big question tonight, what was this all about? People living in the home say the guys that broke in were very specific about looking for a man who doesn't live in the home and he wasn't there searching and searching for that guy. These folks uh, believe that they were caught in between some kind of turf war. Kimberly. Yeah, hey, Sean, you talked to neighbors. What are they what are they saying about this scene? Because it was chaotic chaotic and just breathtaking violence here. Just awful. They say everyone at that house, the house itself, extremely quiet at all times, liked everyone there, and they're just heartbroken that they were targeted in this, in this way. Yeah, indeed. Okay, sure.